Hey, this is Melinda from Grassroots Internet Strategy and in this video we're just going to look at using an all-in title search to find out how competitive your keywords are. So this is my business website for click winning content and I just first wanted to show you the page titles, this line of text here that appears at the top of the browser and it's really important to know that putting keywords in your page title is an important part of optimizing the copy of your website. So by doing an all-in title search to find at how many other websites are using that keyword in the title of one of their web pages will give you an indication of how competitive the keywords are. So let's drill into an, a specific example. Uh, to start by doing an all in title search, all you need to do is type all in title there with a colon, and then we're doing our research for Mr. Noodles with his Asian restaurant. So we'll just start by doing all in title Asian restaurant and see what comes back. So you can see up here. Well, an Asian restaurant, the phrase, is included in 109,000 other websites in one of the titles of their web pages. So that's quite a lot, um, even if we narrow it down here to pages from Australia. It narrows down to 2,740. So still, you know, a, a much lower number, but it's still included in, in a few thousand other websites. So... What you can consider doing if your business, particularly if it targets a local geographic area, add a suburb name or a city or a word like that to your keyword phrase. So where our man who owns noodles, he targets Hawthorne, which is a suburb he's located in. So we can add Hawthorne to the end of his Asian restaurant search phrase. Um, and what do we find out? We find out only 10 other websites are using Asian restaurant Hawthorne in a page title. Obviously that search term Asian restaurant Hawthorne is going to have a far, far lower search volume than the phrase Asian restaurant which is a lot more general but the good thing is people that do type in Asian restaurant Hawthorne are really targeted and they're looking exactly for what Mr Noodles has to offer so it's kind of like the low hanging fruit to start optimizing your website for so lower search volume but far more targeted traffic um, and people looking for something that you've got to offer um, so there you can see that's appearing in 10 websites um, you remember from the keyword video that this is in the broad match type. So broad match means the words can appear like that or in a different order and here's an example of that. So that's a phrase match there, Asian restaurant Hawthorne, but this second one's got the word restaurant first and then Hawthorne and then Asian restaurant or one here it's got Hawthorne and then restaurant and then Asian restaurant. So it's a broad match because the words are included but they're not actually in the same order. So we can narrow the results further by putting in the little quote marks and then we're asking for an all in title search of how many other web pages have got that exact phrase in a page title and what we can see is there's only two other um, results so you can see here that's got the phrase match Asian restaurant Hawthorne and this one Asian restaurant Hawthorne so the good news for Mr Noodles is all things being equal if he includes that exact phrase Asian restaurant Hawthorne in a page title and when people search on that phrase Asian restaurant Hawthorne he's got a really really good Good chance of coming up on page one of Google because there's only the other two websites that are optimized for that exact phrase. So I hope that's been helpful and happy all in title searching.